Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to try to do a quick video on how to uh, replace the uh, temperature sensor in this Ray Pack pool heater I have, model 5450. Mine was a TI. Uh, first, I want to say, on nowhere on my unit does it say Ray Pack, it says Rain. So, I guess Ray Pack is a company of Rain. I don't know, but again, nowhere on my unit does it say Ray Pack. This is the manual they gave me when they put the pool in. So it is correct. So uh, I've laid some tools out here in the in the order you're going to need them. Of course, here's the nut driver for taking the panels off. As soon as you take that first panel off, there's going to be a ground wire you need to take off with the Phillips. Um, after that, I, I cut some of those plastic ties that hold the wires because I need to pull uh, the panel out. Uh, they don't give you a whole lot of room. They, they bind those wires up to stay away from the fan, which I guess I'll bind, uh, I'll tie back up when I go to put everything back together. Uh, this small screwdriver is to take the sensor out of the panel. It's got those real little set screws that you loosen up to pull the wires out. And then the uh, channel locks, uh, the sensor is in a, um, like a plastic uh, or a PVC housing that you'll need to uh, loosen to pull the sensor out. Um, okay, now in my book, when I got a, uh, a warning, it said, I don't know if you can see this, H2O sensor fail is what my panel said. Told me what was wrong with it. And over here it says, replace water water temperature sensor here is my old one I've, I've already pulled out let me get it where I and it states on there or in my book that it's a hundred K sensor uh, I'm not really sure what that means <laughs> but I did find a parts place and they had this thing for like a hundred. You see them for $150 and such. I found one on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Again, nowhere on here do, do they say part numbers or anything. Now, if you didn't notice, this one has a harness on it that I'm going to cut off. It still has two greens and a black, just like my old one did. So, uh, anyway, let's go on over to the unit. Again, nowhere on here does it say Ray Pack. But anyway, take your uh, nut driver, take these screws out that hold this panel. And like I said, the first one you're gonna wanna take off and I wish I could see better. Is this, I call it a ground wire. I'm not sure if it was or not, but that was pull the, pulling the tightest from my panel. You can see it's kind of bent. And then I went down and I know they're upside down and unplugging these, I numbered them as I, as I undid them. See, and then I, I numbered the housings, so I, I know where they go back. There's one, you know, eight, and then this side as well. Man, can you guys see that? There we go. And then, in order to take this top off, you also have to do a, a, some of these screws because this panel here is tucked up underneath there. So I took out a few of those screws to lift this top up. Now in doing that, that gave me just enough room. If you can see that little piece of PVC down there. Let me do it this way. Hold on just a second.
I'm going to lift up on the top and pull this other panel out. And like I said, I had to cut some of these little uh, twist ties off. Matter of fact, quite a few of them to get enough slack in this, these wires here that are still connected to pull this panel out to even get to it. And also, I had, I had to undo some of these uh, straps here to loosen this gray tube to allow this panel to come off and give me some room there. But anyway, if you can see right in there, that right there is where that little sensor goes. It actually, I'm trying to get my other hand down in here. This sensor actually pokes into the, the end of that. And where your channel locks, you tighten it. And this one's like a three, I think it said three and a quarter. It actually says 3.33 or something weird like that. But it goes right in there. And then you tighten that PVC down. I didn't take the whole housing out of there. I think you can. And then running those three wires back in to this panel. I, la I labeled where they went. Well, right here where it says water. Green on each side and black in the middle. And oh yeah. Uh, don't forget to turn, turn the power off. I should have mentioned that first. Everything's off. Um, so I hope this helps. Uh, I'll try to leave a link down in the description. Amazon where I got this uh, sensor. I'm hoping it's the right one. Uh, I think, of course, this is my old one. Uh, it said it was for like, there's, a, there's two different ones, I think. A gas and an electric heater. Uh, and I think that can actually say gas, but it's, I don't know if they're the same interchangeable other than cutting that harness off. Uh, but we'll see. I'll try to, again, leave a link in the description where you can pick that up. And I found a website that has, uh, like part numbers and stuff if you need other stuff. And I'll list it as well. Uh, those places are pretty expensive. Maybe on, if you go on there and you can get a part number and then look around elsewhere for it and find it like I found this, the sensor on Amazon. Uh, let me go back over here, show you the new one. Again, here's the new one with that little harness on there I'm gonna cut off, but it's the same length and everything. Three wire, two greens and a black. I hope this helps.